of God. Good morning. Man, when I tell you my hands are cold, your sister hands are freezing, baby. You know what I want to tell you? Hold on a second. What I want to tell you, people of God, there is power in saying please, thank you, I appreciate you. You know, there is power in showing gratitude and appreciation for people. It don't mean that, uh, oh, hold on. All right, people, God, I'm back. I keep having to stop. One of my brothers is helping me do something in all this cold, baby, because it's cold. Your little sister's hand, whew, your hands, your sister's hands is real cold. And this brother, he always help your little sister whenever she got to do something hard he always make it easy so I just stop and give him information but uh, what I want to say is um, it's good to show folk appreciation for you and folk will go out of their way to make sure they bless you make sure they help you you know your gratitude it don't matter if you the boss if you the CEO you know some people will say oh you the boss what you mean please you ain't got to you know what you mean you please and will you you know it don't matter the bible say he that is greatest among you shall be your servant you know so i've always had that mentality no matter how much worldly authority god has allowed me to have i've always had that mentality when folk go out of their way to help me they want to help me and they want to some folk they want to um, do right by me. Hold on. But what I'm saying is sometimes you don't got to be the boss. You don't got to be the boss. Or, I mean, even if you're the boss, you can still humble yourself to your subordinates or to those that are willing to help you. You know, you can humble yourself and show appreciation. You know, sometimes there are sometimes a lot of people... They don't do good in business. You know, they got good business minded, but people come, but people don't stay with them. You know, people leave. And then the people who sometimes, those who have businesses and people actually want to stay with you, you, sometimes you can't always afford to have people with you. And it ain't often, I know we living in a world today, it ain't often that you're going to find good people that will take care of your stuff and do your stuff how you do it and want to, you know, do right. But there are times when you come across a few good people and uh, they want to stay with you. They be like, I don't want to go no place else. You know, I don't want to work for no place. Hey, I don't want to work for nobody else. I want to work for you and you, you can't afford to hire nobody. You know, a lot of good people, they can't afford to. You know, sometimes it's like that. But um, anyway, make, make, make what I'm trying to say is, Make a long story short, don't let pride get above yourself. Even the Bible say, he that is the greatest in the book of Matthew 20, Matthew, where that chapter is now. He that is the greatest among you shall be your servant. What is that, Matthew 23, 11 or 11, 23 or something like that? He that is greatest among you shall be your servant, right? And those who exalt themselves shall be brought down. They should be brought down because of their pride. See, but those who humble themselves shall be exalted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't never let God catch you being prideful. God give you something. Even if you have the position of a supervisor on somebody else's job, if you own some of these positions, you know, sometimes in law enforcement, you will have your, your corporal, your sergeant, your lieutenant, you know, going up. Sometimes folk can be all right when they cool buddies. When they get promoted with that rank, it, they start acting real funny. You know, don't ever do that. A lot of people do that in different positions. I just use that as an example. But anyway, that's just my little two cents. Stay humble and God will always exalt you. Oh God, what I was trying to say is, you know, sometimes people start uh, catering to the people. They show the people love. But as soon as they use the momentum of the people to build themselves up, they treat the people like they're better than them and the people are beneath them. Stay humble. So your little country bunk and sister was walking in the cold, and another sister say, you want to ride? You know why she say that? Because she know I'm humble. <laughs>
<laughs> she treat me kind. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I was trying to say. I hope I got my point across. It was so cold like that. My hands and things was cold, but I was trying to make a point. I hope you got the point. Have a blessed day.